Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this little video is really about math. And if you wanted to link these together, you would want to link them together with about the approximate size gap. So we have 0.12. So if we want to link these together, and this thing is 7 inches across, we would want to set our nudge factor on 7.12. And then when we control D or hit the plus key on the keyboard, it's going to continue making copies 0.12 apart. Let's control G and group those together, put them in the center of the page. Now we need to move them over and down to get them to fit. So the way I've always done it is if you take a two-point line or an indexing line, and go from that one right there to this node right there, and then measure that distance. That's the distance we need to move down. Take your parallel dimension tool and grab it. Start moving and hold down your control button so you're perpendicular, and we get 6.04. So 6.04 plus 0.2 is 6.16. So we need to move these down 6.16. So change your nudge factor to 6.16. Hit your plus key on your keyboard and go down. But now we need to move them over. Well, we know it's 7.12 to move them over. And divided by 2, because we only move them over halfway, is 3.56. 3.56 nudge factor. And nudge them over. And if you just keep doing that to your heart's content, everything will be perfect. And you could keep making it uh, bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, if I would have started off with, so if right now we set our nudge factor back on 7.12, hit the plus key on the keyboard and just move it over that many times, you can see like right there. And then you just re repeat, you know, group this together, control G. And so we're already, we need to make a duplicate and then we need to nudge it over um, 6 point, or 6.16, 6.16, control D or duplicate and then nudge it down twice because we've got two of them. Look at that. If you took, let me take away our indexing lines. Just grabbing them and hitting delete. If we took a rectangle and then filled the rectangle in with the smart fill tool, all it'll take just a second because all the little pieces are being filled in and they're all point or point one two apart. It's actually taking a lot longer than I would anticipate, but it's this is huge. It's much bigger than 50 inches. So right there, you've got a really good uh, pattern, repeated pattern. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.